In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Uh, thank you for joining us again. <clears throat> for those of you who've been following uh, the past few days, you've noticed that we've been posting videos related with the fast that we are in. For those of you who don't know, we uh, recently started the Tzoma Felsata. We were talking about what that means. And the first thing we saw that Felsata is a time where we get to go to church and, and speak with our mother. And then we noticed how during this period and we go to the church, there's a prayer uh, titled with Dasi Mariam that is read. And we are beginning to talk about what this prayer looks like. And we ended last week by saying that this prayer is a prayer that was um, prayed by Saint Ephraim as the Virgin Mary revealed herself to him. And uh, he started this prayer and this prayer is divided into seven uh, different sections one for each day of the week. And during this fast, we're just looking at the first day, Monday. And then today, we're looking at the first stanza of the first day. So let's go ahead and get started. So St. Ephraim starts his prayer by saying, God wanted. Notice, this prayer is titled, It's the veneration to the Virgin Mary. But when St. Ephraim begins, he starts by saying and calls on God's name. We are reminded of the Gospel of John chapter 2. When it says that at the wedding of Cana Zagarila, the Virgin Mary was there and with him was Jesus. Wherever the Virgin Mary is, God is there. Wherever our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ is, the Virgin Mary is there. We can't separate the two. The two belong together. Saint Ephraim recognized this and he begins by saying, calling on our Lord, our Savior Jesus Christ, and, our, and he said, God desired. And then he goes and says, He wanted to free Adam. Of course, he is talking about how Adam after eating the forbidden fruit, was kicked out of the Garden of Eden. When that happened, God simply didn't sit down. He desired, he wanted to free Adam. There's several things that we look at here. Number one, when Adam sinned, we were also there. Adam is representing the nature of man here. Yes, Adam ate the forbidden fruit and he fell to sin, but so do we. We fall every single day because of the temptations of the world. We fall to sin every single day. And every time that we fall, like Adam, God desires. He desires to save us. He doesn't simply turn around and walk away, but he desires to save mankind. Just like he saved Adam, he has saved us while he died for us in the kingdom and on the cross on Golgotha, on uh, Calvary. He had a sad heart. He had a heart that was caring and he wanted so bad to save him. The one who is sad, now here, in one way, it's talking about God. Because when his child Adam sinned, he was sad. When we sin and we fall into the temptations of, uh, uh, of the devil, he is sad. He sees his children falling into the hands of the devil. He is sad and he desires to save us. The second one is the one who was sad is speaking about Adam. Because he was separated from his father, because he fell into the temptation of sin, Adam himself was sad. Sin causes not God only, but us to be sad because we are separated from our Father. Adam being sad is a sign of repentance. This world is evil. We may sin every single day. We may fall to the temptation of the devil. But let us be like Adam and have this meek heart of, of being repentant. Let us have a sad heart that we are separated from our Father because of sin. Sin come is in, in Ge'ez is hatat, and it comes from the Ge'ez word hata, 
which means to lose. Sin is an action that causes us to lose God. Adam was, was sad because he lost his father. Adam was sad because he lost his master. And when God saw that, to save him. He desired to return him back into his previous glory. He desired to take Adam, even though he was the one that sinned. Even though Adam is the one that walked away from God, it was God who desired to come to this world, be born from the Virgin Mary, and save mankind. Our Virgin, Holy, Blessed Virgin Mary, beseech for us all. Beseech for us. We ask each other every single day to pray for us. You have a problem, you say, pray for me. Pray for me, pray for me. Right? Hashtag pray for me. Like we ask every single person around us to pray for us. If we're going to ask someone to pray for us, why not our mother? Why not the mother of God? Why not ask the Virgin Mary to beseech to her own son? The blessed one, the holy one, the righteous one who is special. Now, some people have a problem with us calling the Virgin Mary holy and special and blessed. But this is the word of the Bible. When we read the Gospel of Luke, once the Virgin Mary was told that she was going to give birth to our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, she had the following conversation with Elizabeth. She said in Luke chapter 1, verses 46 through 49, Oh, how my soul praises the Lord. This is the Virgin Mary speaking. How my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he took notice of his lowly servant girl. And from now on, all generations will call me blessed. All generations will call me blessed. We are part of the all generations, not just Orthodox, not non-believers, but all generations will call her blessed. So we call her blessed. This the blessed, the special, the righteous, the one who is the mother of God, beseech for us all. We are sinners. We are coming to you to ask you what our heart desires. And please, through your intercession, we ask that you grant us this wish. This is the prayer that we do during with Dasi Maram. This is the first stanza that we start, and through the next few days, we will look at the rest of with Dasi Maram, Zasanwi, the one which is prayed on Monday. I ask that all of you continue to pray and ask your mother anything that is in your heart. Uh, may we uh, get back together in the will of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Wasabhatanak Zayabhir.